hi welcome back to my channel I have quite a big haul to share with you today I went to Goodwill and Habitat for Humanity yesterday and all these bags it was only like 23 ish dollars so that was a really good deal I find a lot of deals at Habitat for Humanity super cheap so um, I do not share every haul with you because yeah I don't have enough I have like videos backlogged just don't have enough time to but I thought this one was definitely worth mentioning so I'll show you some of the stuff I found first um this is bag is from Goodwill so these are the four by six index cards and they were um, only 50 cents because it was 50% off for 50 of them and I don't have any this size anymore I think I've used all of them so there's only 50 in here but that's pretty good so I picked that up and then look at this, guys. Look at this roll of blue lace. And there was no price on it. And I was a little nervous because sometimes Goodwill overprices their stuff. This, however, was only 99 cents for this whole roll. So there's going to be a lot of blue lace on my journals. Um, so I got that. And I found this uh, money or rent receipt book and I don't think it's been well maybe one page has been used so and it has the little yellow sheet too and there's a whole bunch and that was only 99 cents so 200 sets so I was pretty happy with that that's 1998 so it's almost vintage right <laughs> and then this is um a Rolodex a vintage Rolodex set and some of these have like old names and numbers only a couple of them do um, I can probably just put something over that but all of these in the back are blank so that's pretty cool and um, yeah I doubt that I don't know if I'll keep the container or not but I definitely bought it. 99 cents yeah and then I found these two books. These are hardcover. The New Webster's Grammar Guide and the New Webster's Thesaurus. And, I mean, the pages are pretty cool, but I actually bought them for the cover because I'm envisioning um, gutting them and then adding collaging and things so you can still see the pretty emb um, gold embossing, but making them really pretty junk journals and putting them in my shop. They're a really nice size. I am i don't know. Let's see. If these are 4 by 6 I'm guessing 5 by 7 ish size. So those should be up in my shop. I want to work on them soon, but I have so many projects to do. So I picked those up. And they were $1.99 each because they were hardcover. And usually I don't um, want to spend that for just a book cover. But I thought I could use the pages too. So, you know. All right. Here's some... Oh, here's a miscellaneous thing. Um, we have a, what's it called? Like a salvage grocery store. And they had these tissue gift wraps for, well, this says two for a dollar. These say six for a dollar. I don't know if they were two for a dollar or six for a dollar. I thought they were six for a dollar, which is why I got them. So one, two, three, four. I think they're six for a dollar. Anyway, it's tissue gift wrap paper and it's leaves. And I bought it to wrap my journals in, um, if it was six for a dollar, that's 24 sheets for a dollar, so that was really good. I hope that's what I paid for it. At Habitat for Humanity, I found this bag of red lakes, uh, red lace, and I think there's between one and two um, yards of it, and I got this for my Christmas journals. Let's see. I thought it was really pretty. I really don't have much red lace, so there's two lengths of it. It's about probably two, oh, more like three yards total, or I don't know. I have a headache this morning, guys, so who knows what all I'm saying, right? Um, I found these vintage, I think they're vintage, I'm not sure. They're Hallmark, um, they're like cards. It says, tuck inside napkin and tie with ribbon, arrange around plates or centerpieces, decorative coasters. But they're about a postcard, cardstock. They're leaves, and you can feel the embossing on them. You can journal on the back. So there were these ones and these ones. And I don't know if they were 25 cents for each pack or 25 cents for all of them. But either way, they're beautiful. So I was really happy to find 
these. They're just random, but they're going to be great in any kind of nature or botanical um, journals. So there's quite a few of those. I also got some Ada cloth um, or cross-stitch cloth. I got like this flax color and this red color. I do cross-stitch. And I have not in a long time. I've done a lot um, when I was a teenager, a lot of cross-stitching. And um, I thought, you know, some white on this red for snowflakes or Christmas trees would be really pretty. And then this one I'm not sure yet, but they were 50 cents each. And this cloth is really expensive if um, you don't get it on sale. So I thought that I would maybe put some cross-stitch pieces in some of my journals. So... I picked those up, and then I found a whole bunch of vintage linens, and they're kind of like napkins and pillowcases, but they were Habitat for Humanity, and they were a really good price, so these green napkins, they're like green poinsettias, so I thought Christmas, 50 cents for two of the napkins, they're in good condition, and I'm thinking that would be really pretty um, as a cover or a fabric flip, so I got those for the Christmas journals. And then this is a, like, a placemat, I think. But look at how pretty that is in the texture. So i definitely thinking a cover. I don't know exactly, but it's really pretty for a vintage cover. <laughs> oh, my boys are going to be loud in the background. This looks like it was a homemade pillowcase. Really pastel, vintage, faded botanicals. There's no stains or anything. But the colors are really pretty and um, definitely vintage. So I picked up that for 50 cents. And then some of these pillowcases were lovely, and I wish I knew what year they came from. They're not terribly, terribly old, I don't think. But I thought that they would be super pretty for some feminine um, floral journals. This one's really cute. And there's quite a bit of fabric here. These are only 50 cents each. I like this one. This is a nice weight. And then this is a napkin too. And I love that the flowers are blue and green. I don't know. I was just inspired by those. And I have one more bag of goodies here. Um, I was looking for patterns, so I picked up this one right here. And this is from the early 80s. And uh, so... They was only 50 cents for all their patterns, but that was the most vintage one I could find. This is 25 cents for this book right here. And um, 1935. <laughs> they're making the baby laugh. <laughs> all right, let me get through this quickly since they're going crazy. Wildflower designs for needlework. So this is some vintage needlework patterns. And um, themes from the great symphonies. This was only 10 cents for this beautiful paper. And I think at 1943. So that was definitely a steal. This little mini nature book for 15 cents. And look at how cute those little pages are. And I bet I can... Oh, look at that. That cover is going to be an amazing little journal. So that was a score for 15 cents. And... I think this was half off, but these are taboo game cards, and these are vintage, actually. I think they're from the 80s, and so I think I saw the date on them, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, 89, so yes. Oh, and I thought that was the last box, and it wasn't, so okay. So here's some pink lace I found at Goodwill. That was 50 cents. It's kind of like the blue, but it's it's pink. And then this was a the story of Christmas with its own advent calendar. And I loved the front page and the back page. How beautiful. Uh, 1973. Beautiful images as well. So that was 99 cents. And then this I can't decide if I got for my son or for my journal. I loved this when I was a kid. Uh, the thumbprint um, little people. So we'll see about that. And this was a clarinet book for 99 cents. Oh my gosh, they're so loud in the background. 1968. But I just liked the music there. Some little Christmas embellishments for 50 cents. And a vintage cookbook. Women's Day Encyclopedia of Cookery, Volume 1. And I got this because it was the 1960s. And I just really liked how some of these could be cut out and added um, 
just really pretty coloring and stuff. So anyway, I am that's what I got, and I'll let you guys go since I know there's so much noise in the background from my boys, but I just wanted to share with you some of my finds. So like everything I just showed you, it was only $23. So great score, and I love finding those, so have a great day.